Hey guys, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. And yeah, it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon now. I know you see me do my quick little morning vacuum and stuff. That was about eight o'clock this morning. Then I got the babies up. Oh, I have my little baby Bean in the van because we're gonna go to town and pick up Mally from a birthday party. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. And uh, I don't plan on stopping anywhere it's right off the bat, but Mally went to a birthday party at the fire hall, so we need to go get her. All right, we're at the Digby Fire Department. <clears throat> it's kind of mild out. It's like plus two or something, or no, minus two, minus two. But comparatively to what it had been, because it was so bitter cold the past couple of days, it's not too bad out. <laughs> I'm assuming this is the door I go in. We'll see. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Because Papa was going down to see it, Carrie. Did you have fun, Mally? Yeah, I was. Dad had to park over there. Yeah. And all my friends came rushing out and said. Yeah! Well, that's quite the noise, isn't it? <laughs> and I got across the road, and everybody was screaming, except for Leah. She was like... Wouldn't say anything. No. I got some kid books on the, the seat. I got to move, but... Yeah, it was Paris theme, wasn't it? Yeah, they had a ton of photo booth things. You might... You've seen me. I've seen you. Yeah. Super tiny parasols. Oh. They actually want those books you can just put on your lap or shove over to the side, okay? Hey guys, I'm back home. I don't know if I'm putting him to sleep or he's putting me to sleep, to be honest. <laughs> Mally's here in front of me. I'm in the rocking chair. I'll turn your I'll turn the Miranda in a second, Mally. In the rocking chair. And can you believe all four little babies were screaming to the top of their lungs about 15 minutes ago. Talk about put a person to the test, but it's quieted down now. Little Miss Muffet's having a bottle. Little man is just laying on the floor making funny faces. <laughs> Evie is here on my shoulder and Maze is upstairs with his big brother, so yeah, I planned on trying to do that kitchen cupboard today, but I don't think that's going to happen today. I uh, I made craft dinner for supper or for lunch. I don't know what I'm doing for supper. I might ask I might ask Mally to make something <laughs> because that's just how I'm feeling right now. But she's here looking at um, that science fair book that I got on Amazon yesterday. Just looking at different experiments she'd like to try. This one I really want to try. Make your own ice cream. Make your own ice cream. All you yep. need is cream, ice cubes, a dish towel, tablespoon, chocolate mix powder, salt, glass, milk, and a large bowl. We'll have to try that sometime. Place a glass of... I can hear Maze upstairs crying now. Oh, little man is right over there. Yeah, yeah I'm Place talking about you, Buster. Place the glass of ice cream. Anyways, Miss Muffet's about to go off, and I, I'll check back. I'll check back in a bit. All right. Well, our friend Tony just stopped out <laughs> for a little visit, which was nice. But um, now I got my second wind. I'm gonna throw together a real quick chili. That takes just as much time as goulash or spaghetti. It doesn't take long at all. I just need to sizzle up some hamburger and throw everything together in a pot. And that'll be that. So I got the. Where is it? <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, hamburger 778. I have one of these. I'm going to chop up an onion. I have some mushrooms in my home ta canned tomato sauce and beans. And a home canned thing of corn. I'm going to throw that all in together. So yeah, I'll get this going and we'll be back. Well, Mally's over there frying up the hamburger for me. Thanks, Mally. I just went down and got some tomato sauce, home canned mushrooms, home canned corn, black beans, home canned. I had this in my pantry. I'm going to use it up just so I can start using stuff up in there. Uh, I think I crushed tomatoes 
And if I need more sauce, I'm gonna open this because that was in my pantry. So now I just need to chop up a couple onions. So I just added the onions right into the, the mix and we'll fry it all up together. I'm gonna put some onion powder and garlic powder in here too. I'm gonna so cry. That's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna cry. Hmm. Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, Mally's out there attending the children for me for a minute because I had to pop these suckers open because they're sealed shut. But I'm gonna strain these beans and I didn't open like the store stuff. I'm gonna only open that if I need it. Uh, and then we'll put it in, well, she's going to come out and finish making this chili. She's never made chili all by herself before, so I'm just kind of directing her how to do it. Chili's really not that difficult, but it's, it could be a little intimidating for the first time. And remember, gosh, she's only nine, so if she knows, learns how to make chili, because she knows how to make spaghetti and goulash and grilled cheese, and because uh, she fries up the hamburger and everything, this is uh, going to be one more thing in her repertoire to make. Pretty cool. sure it all comes up to the same temperature. I ended up adding, well, Mally added that um, can of kidney beans at the end just because I wanted it a little, little more chunky, I guess. So, yeah. It smells good, though. It's not a big fancy chili, guys. I mean, it's just straight up. Ah! Oh. <laughs> His pants are all jumbled up there. Say hi, Abby. <laughs> Anyways, I'll just let this come up. Um, I want to make sure it doesn't scorch at the bottom. And then we'll just dish it out. That with a slice of bread and butter. That's a good supper on a busy day, I think. Well, I'm going to start dishing this up. Evie's all filled up and the kids are all at me. It's 10 after, almost 10 after 5. So, yeah, I'll get this out and let it cool for a few minutes and then I'll set the table or they'll set the table and that'll be good to go. Yeah, chili is such an easy versatile supper. You can put anything in it. If I had more hot dogs I would put it in it or pepperoni or bacon or pineapple or uh, celery or peppers or anything. Let's see, Mally wants me to try to get a bunch of beans. <laughs> I said I don't know. If I can do that, it's all mixed up. I need to get another little bowl for maize. Oh my. It has been a busy, busy day. Yeah, you know, I try to make plans, but you just never know what a day brings. So I just embrace the day and do what I can do. I'll get to that cupboard <laughs> maybe tomorrow I keep I'm not trying to leave you hanging like that guys it's just it's just the way it goes the way it goes but yeah this afternoon with all four of them and that's when my friend Tony came and I'm like get your butt in here and help me with some of these babies <laughs> and I was just teasing them of course but you know he comes in here and there's a whole bunch of kids but I wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest. It's what I'm used to, right? I just didn't get to do what I wanted to get done, but I did. My kids are gonna be fed, they're clean. You know what I mean? They got a roof over their head, they got warm clothes on. So, you know, I got the basics covered. So I'm gonna start divvying this stuff up and I'll check back in a little bit, guys. I'm so sleepy. Mally just made me a coffee and it's like 6 o'clock at night. I'm in the rocking chair. I have you guys sideways. Yeah, it's that kind of day. Alright, well we're still in the rocking chair. I try to lay him down. 
Let's see if I can get us both in there. And he'll sleep for a minute or two, but he's teething like crazy. But that's okay. Cranky pants. <laughs> Everybody's entitled to have a cranky day, right? Don't give the evil eye, you silly boy. <laughs> He's good now, though. He's good. His mama's coming over in a little while, but I said, take your time. This just lets, you know, I, I have a good reason to sit down and just rock. Rock and roll. Right, Evie? <laughs> Anyways, I'll be putting the babies to bed here shortly and clean up the supper mess. And, yeah, I think it's going to be an early night for me tonight because I'm tired. Even though I'm having the second coffee now, that's just going to pull me through until I actually hit the pillow. <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit to sign off. Goodbye. <laughs> He's like, that's you, baby. What are you doing? So handsome. You're so handsome. What are you doing? You're catching flies. All right, friends. <laughs> well, that coffee really... <laughs> I'm back to level ground again for now. We'll see. 7.35. I just put the babies upstairs. Well, there's one more. Little man's still out there. He usually goes to bed now, but he had a longer nap today, so I'll let him stay up a little bit longer. And um, my husband's not home. He left this morning to go down to his family's he was doing some work and stuff down there so it's been a long kid filled day <laughs> which are good days but it's hard to get any of my extra things done around here so my walls are still up my roof is still on and uh, yeah I'm happy to be alive so <laughs> I hope you are too but come back tomorrow I don't know what I'm doing but um, it should be a little less chaotic for me, so I might be able to get something done. Um, yeah, peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. I want to, uh, yeah, invite you to like, share, and subscribe if you want to, but you don't have to. Just if you so choose. No biggie. I'm going to wrap it up now. I don't know how long this is at all. Uh, but... Yeah, being 7.36 now, I can get this edited and uploaded, and uh, yeah, when I get tired, I don't, even when my husband gets home, I'm going to say, sorry honey, <laughs> I'm tired, I'm going to bed, but that's just the kind of day it's been, <laughs> so, alright guys, you have a good, safe, happy, love, food-filled Saturday night, and I'll see you tomorrow, alright guys, bye.